Hey guys, Brandon from Noltac for TFB TV here at Shot Show 2 Aught 19 with Alex from Lyman. And you guys got a pretty good assortment of new stuff coming out. Right here, we're talking mainly reloading. What, what you got, man? So, Lyman has really always been known as a reloading brand. That's what you know most of our business consists of. Um, so, we pushed that hard last year with a whole new press line. And to follow that up under the Brassmith family name, we are coming out with the Case Trim Express. That's what this guy is right here. So what this is, this is going to allow you to trim your crate cases a lot faster than using a hand tool or using a power drill or anything like that. It's a collet based system. It's going to index off the shoulder of the case. All you have to do is unscrew the nozzle here on the barrel. You're going to put a new collet inside there. It's going to ship with all the most popular collets with it. We are going to make collets for a little bit of the uh, more oddball calibers yeah. out there. Um, but it's going to ship with the 10 most popular ones. It's going to cover probably 50 different calibers. Okay. Does it cover like what's the hot stuff right now as far as like 224 Valkyrie, 65, 68, all that? Yes, sir, it will. It's going to cover all that stuff and more and all, all your popular calibers, all the ones that everybody shoots, um, and obviously those new ones too. Uh, so you have your uh, micro adjustments right here on the barrel as well. You have a variable speed if you want to slow down or speed up your trim speed. And we have run this model that I'm holding in my hand over 147,000 times. And we just, you know, it just kept on rolling. We decided to shut it off at that point because we know that's a lot of cases. It could keep going past 250, we, we, uh, we figure. So it's got holes to drill to your bench. It's got some feet, and it just plugs right into the wall behind there. Nice and sleek. That's going to be about a 160 MSRP. Okay. <clears throat> and they're available now? They are coming out, uh, we're going to say, in the next couple months. You'll okay. be seeing them on the shelf. Uh, the next addition to the line, we have upgraded our powder trickler. That's this guy right here. It's going to be a cast aluminum powder coated uh, powder trickler with a steel base to give it some real uh, solid support. It's not going to move around on you. It's got an aluminum funnel and a handle here, so you just put your powder in, trickle it out, makes it really easy to um, uh, get a nice precise dribble. It's kind of one of those tools that's like, it's super simple. You look at it, you're like, okay, it's not that complex, but it, it needs to be pretty exact. It needs to be exact, that's for sure. And a lot of the ones out there on the market now are plastic or they're a lighter weight and they, when they, whenever they move or wobble, that's going to throw off your charge a little bit. So as long, um, as long as you have a really steady base like we have on here, it's going to be a lot easier to uh, make sure that you have that stability. Uh, moving on, we have upgraded our uh, typical 500 scale, uh, powder scale. We are now coming out with the Lyman Brassmith 500 scale. This, uh, for this scale, we again upgraded the body from plastic to a cast aluminum. Uh, it's going to give you a lot more stability. It also has a steel foot on there. It is ambidextrous. It's got the numbers printed on both sides. And it's going to be, uh, be at a really affordable price point. Awesome. All right, and this one's not necessarily new, but pretty cool. And as a range owner, I mean, this is something I've kind of always thought about in my head. Like, you know, when I'm laying awake and can't go to sleep, I'm like, man, if I could only make something that just didn't have me having to go down range all the time. So explain this, this little thing a little bit. So this guy is designed for that purpose exactly, right? You know, nobody likes to go all the way down range just to change, put up a new target to come back, shoot it, you know, 20, 30 times and have to keep running back and forth. That's half your day, right? So what this is designed to do, you can set this up up to 200 yards away. Go back to your bench, set up the roll. This is a vinyl target roll. It's 50 feet long. You set it up at the top, you know, the top of the roll. So it's weatherproof too? It is weatherproof. It's not going to be affected by water. It's not going to tear like paper would, right? And then what you do is you go back to your lane, you bring the remote with you, and once you shoot up your target, we have a bunch of different target rolls that's got different, you know, silhouettes or bullseye targets or small bore um, rifle targets. And you shoot it all up, you record your groups, you check it out, and rather than walk down range, all you do is turn on your remote, Hit that top button, and it's going to roll right into a whole new target. Okay. Now the metal here is rated for rimfire. It typically will withstand some handgun calibers, but you know it's not warranted for that. Um, but the uh, the one inch tubes on the side here, that's just standard conduit. So if you happen to shoot left a little bit or shoot right a little bit, uh, and you damage that, that's easy to replace. You set back. Yeah, just go to Home Depot and get some conduit. I would argue, if you're hitting the steel and the conduit. Maybe you're not ready for this yet. Maybe we don't stick to paper plates at five yards. I mean, I'm just yeah, saying. I'd recommend maybe, yeah, getting yourself on target first and then shooting something like this. But with a single roll, so a 50-foot roll, like I was saying, will get you by 24 to 26 targets. So you can sit there and shoot all day without having to run back down range. What are we looking at MSRP on this? 
MSRP on this is about $149.99. So that's going to come with a roll. So you're going to be able to set it up right out of the box and start shooting right away. Uh, extra rolls beyond that are about $20 bucks retail. Uh, you'll find them on shelves for a little bit cheaper than that. Awesome. All right, keeping along the reloading track, what do we have here? So what you're seeing here is you're seeing our all-American eight-station turret press on top. We came out with that in 2018. It's been going strong. We're really proud of it. It's a made-in-the-USA press, powder-coated orange to you know bring out back a little bit of lime and old-school pride, um, obviously with the all-American name. But the product for 19 is what it's sitting on. So you're sitting, seeing it sitting on the stamp steel, uh, all-steel press stand. What that's going to allow you to do is going to allow you to get your press stand probably nine to ten inches off of your bench. It gives you a lot more leverage for the throw when you're actually chucking rounds in there. Okay, and the unique feature about this is that it comes with a removable plate on the top. So not only is this going to work for our ideal single stage press and our victory single stage press and our all American turret press, but it's also going to work for all of our competitors. You know, you got red, you got green um, out there on the market. This is going to work with Hornady presses. It's going to work with RCBS presses. It's going to work with Dillon presses. One plate is going to cover all of your single stage and your turret presses. Another, uh, another plate on top is going to cover all of your progressives. And we did leave one side undrilled just in case we miss something, just in case there's a press out there or something comes out that, that the whole spacings that are already pre-drilled into the plates here doesn't match. The user can drill their own holes and use this one skew as well. So it's kind of like a Glock MOS plate system but for reloaders. Exactly. You just, you just pop the four screws off. Put a new plate on. You can put whatever your uh, whatever your desired press is right on top of it. What were we looking at price on this one? This is going to be about fifty to sixty bucks retail. So it's 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 not an expensive piece of material. Um, it's really solid, and it's going to be able to fit, like I said, just about anything. Again, it's one of those things that's pretty simple on its surface, but it's right. it's kind of a a force multiplier, if you will, in a way. It just gives you capabilities, even though in and of itself, it's a pretty simple thing. Yes, sir. Awesome. I see something over there we want to go take a look at. Definitely. Okay, now we're looking at what by all accounts appears to be a shooting mat. So kind of give us the rundown on what we got going here. I'm assuming the stock is not included in the pricing. The stock is not included <laughs> in the pricing, nor is the bipod. Man, I wish I could sell hey. that at the same time. But uh, no, so as a reloading company, we know that a lot of our customers are precision shooters. They're long range guys. They're guys really dialing in their load to take it out to the range and, and connect at seven, eight hundred, you know, thousand yards. Um, so what we wanted to do on top of that is we wanted to give them a platform that they could shoot those rounds that they reloaded yep. at the range. So this is a 1,000 denier Cordura shooting mat, okay? This is what we're calling our TAC Mat HD. It has a waterproof tarpaulin liner on the bottom. There's the black liner right there. Oh, yeah. It does have eyelets in all four corners and will come with some stakes. Oh, so I'm mean, sorry, when you go to the range with some stakes, you can stake it down so it does not move on you. It has reinforcement pads on the top here, uh, non-slip for right where your elbows and your chest are going to be, where your knees are going to be, and then it's reinforced waterproof tarpaulin down where your boots are going to be so you don't rip it up. Okay? Um, it is going to provide a little bit of insulation, so if the ground is really hot or really cold, it's going to give you a little bit of separation from that uh, temperature change. You do have some pockets up front for extra ammo or mags or anything that you want to lay up there. Yeah, suppressor stamps, just paperwork, data book. Exactly, exactly. Pens, papers. Um, it's got plenty of room for you to put your gun on and also put on a spotting scope or something like that. Uh, on the up front, it does have some uh, bipod stays where the feet of those bipods are pressed up into so you can get really on top of that rifle and make sure it doesn't move while you're shooting it. And it does have a flap up front to kind of clear out any dust so when you you know you got that muzzle blast, no dust is going to come flying back onto the, onto the tar. So, um, so what, it, what's going to be the price on this one? The price on this retail is going to be 117 it's under 120 bucks. Um, I get, I guarantee you're going to see that on the shelf, and you'll see it online in a lot of places for a lot less than that. So it's a very affordable mat to take out to the range and make sure you have the most fun and the most reliability shooting the rounds you just loaded. Well, I can tell you, I'm not a reloader, um, but we do have an outdoor range. we got a, a, about 1,500 yards, so I get to see what all the guys bring, everything from you know, black garbage bags to like super uber Gucci mats. And I've been kind of looking, you know, as a range owner, I try to keep a little bit of some stuff on hand. So when newer shooters come and they don't know any better, I can kind of, hey, here, use this spotting scope. Hey, here, use this. And what I've found is either, I mean, I need something that's going to be durable because let's sure. face it, it's not their gear. Absolutely. It's going to get kind of used up. So what I really like, and I'm in South Louisiana, and it's it's been raining pretty much consistently for the last four yes, months. Sir. Yes, sir. So I like this tarpaulin bottom, and it's, it's it, it's simple. Again, that's what I like about what you guys do. Is everything's pretty simple. Um, I like the straps in the front. Um, 
No, I'm digging yeah, we, it. I'm digging not, it. There's not too many bills and whistles to it. it and like I said, it's reinforced in all the places it needs to be reinforced. It's uh, it, it's waterproof in all the places it needs to be waterproof. And it does actually fully roll up into a into a nice packed roll with a shoulder strap and everything to make it easier to carry and to pack out from the range. Yeah. I know that's a whole deal. The least fun part about shooting is packing up, yeah. I know. So we try to make that part easy too. Well, and there's 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 mats out there that are very minimalist and, and lightweight and easy. So yeah, if you're gonna be packing out somewhere, that's something you want. This, to me, my perception is it's kind of a little more geared towards long-term use and really comfort because it's got the padding, it's got the grip. Um, you know, you're, 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 it's, this isn't something I'm just going to run up the mountain and run back down. Absolutely. And, 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 and to, to, to piggyback off that point, like I said, this is called the TAC Mat HD. We are going to come out with a product called the TAC Mat that is going to be, you know, it's 600 cord to save away. a little bit on weight and it folds up a little bit smaller. So to, 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 to go after that guy that is running up that mountain yep. to lay it down real quick and make sure he's packing it out, we are going to have something for him too. But this mat's really going to be the flagship. It's, it's, uh, it's my personal favorite. Um, especially for days like you know when we were out at range day, and it's a nice yeah. cold day. I saw that going and windy. There. Those windy, staking, man. staking now. Is it going to come in any? Other, what's the kind of the color options? So this one is really just going to come with the black bottom, the way you see it. Okay. The uh, the the regular tack mat with the the, the 600 Cordura material. That's going to come in black and FDE. All right. So what do we have here? This looks interesting. I'm sure a lot of a lot of you guys know what this is. This is a this is a Mossberg shockwave. Uh, exploded in popularity the last couple of years. I personally have one. I think they're awesome to shoot, right? The only part that's not awesome to shoot about it is that grip because sometimes your hand slips up. And with the Mossberg specifically, you slip up and you hit the safety or you have to, you know, put your hand, choke your hand back down every once in a while. And uh, what a lot of people were doing, myself included, is wrapping this grip in some, you know, skateboard tape or something like that. And that always comes unraveled or gets dirty. So what we decided to do under the Packmeyer name, we have uh, the, the Packmeyer Tactical Grip Gloves, which we sell very well under, you know, for our Glocks and Smith, uh, Smith and Wessons. And, and these are the slip, the slip on ones. They slip, they're, a, they're a rubber material that slip right on to help you reduce recoil, give you a little bit better grip on your pistol. Well, we decided that this shotgun was the perfect um, a test platform for our first what we're calling a, a, a shockwave pistol grip, tactical grip glove. Now, okay. now we're call, saying shockwave. I'm assuming it'll also fit because they all kind of have that same kind of what they're calling a bird's head yes. type grip on whether it be Remington, Mossberg, or now there's even a couple other companies that have come out with the same thing. That is correct. So a lot of, uh, on these, on these what are called, I, I, th I believe they're called others, you know. The, oh, they're, they're firearms. Firearms. <laughs> well, on all these firearms, they are using the same grip, so this grip will fit all of those. So your Remington, exactly, your Remingtons and your Mossbergs are both going to be covered. Uh, the multiple models within those families are going to be covered. And all it is is it slips on over the bird's head grip there. It is a, is it a tacky, it is a tacky rubber. Okay, it covers most of the grip here. It does have a little bit of a finger groove, so you can get it in between your fingers and get a solid grip on it. Okay, and it's gonna really prevent your hand from sliding up that gun. It's gonna give you the, 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 the most sure grip without you know, ever getting dirty or you know, hand oils or when it gets wet, it doesn't lose its grip. So this is really kind of the perfect companion for anyone looking to get a, a more solid grip on their you know, tiny little 12 gauge. Well, and that's, that's an imperative thing there because that's really all you got. I mean, it's not a shotgun. You don't have a shoulder weld or cheek weld or anything like that. That's kind of what you're holding on to. It with. Exactly. That's all you got to hold on. You get the strap up front, which is great, but that, that rear grip can get pretty slick sometimes, especially if it's hot out, especially if your, your hands are sweating. So this is going to help prevent all of that. So shockwave grips, shooting mats, reloading stuff, and then all kind of other stuff that y'all have been carrying for years. It's going to be Lyman Products, SHOT Show 2019.